Welcome back. Welcome to day two of the lasting transformation from the inside out video mini series. So it's day two and I'm going to hop right into prayer and then we'll get started. Father God, thank you so much for today, God. We thank you for the breath in our lungs, God. We thank you for life. We thank you for our health and we thank you for strength, God. We thank you for laughter. We thank you for technology um, so that we're able to connect, God. We thank you for your love. We thank you for Jesus. We thank you for setting us free, from delivering us from bondage, God. We worship you and we praise you for who you are, God. Thank you for your unconditional love. Thank you for your faithfulness, God. We thank you for meeting us here today, God, and I pray, God, that you speak to each woman listening to this video individually, Lord. I pray that the Holy Spirit speaks directly to them, God. Father God, I surrender this time to you, God, and I just pray that you would have your way. It's in the mighty name of Jesus, I pray. Amen. So it's day two, and today we're talking about the secret to weight loss. So a couple days ago, a friend asked me, what is the secret to weight loss? My response may surprise you or it may not. My response to her was, guess it, guess what it was? I'll wait. There is no secret. <laughs> <laughs> right. So the 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 secret to weight loss really is is that there is no secret. Y'all, we have been fooled and we have been bamboozled and we have thought that running from program to program or diet to diet like okay, now this is the magic. This is the magic. But there is no magic pill. There's no fat zapping chamber that we can jump into and zap the fat and cellulite from our bodies overnight. There's no magic pixie dust. Nobody is coming to sprinkle us with anything. And now all of a sudden calories don't count anymore. And you know, there is no secret. There is no secret. That's the secret that there is no secret. But the weight loss industry is this billion dollar industry that that feeds off of our emotions, you know, because we think, oh, there's something wrong with me. If I can't do this, then obviously it's me that has the problem. But sis, I'm here to tell you, you do not have a problem. You do not have a problem, okay? We, we have been fooled. So with that, we're going to go to scripture. So today's scripture comes from 1 Peter chapter 1 verses 24 and 25 and it reads for all flesh is like grass and all its glory like the flower of grass the grass withers and the flower fails but the word of the lord remains forever and this word is the good news that was preached to you so this is first peter chapter 1 verses 24 and 25 so hear me, ladies, hear me, hear me, hear me. Your body will change. Your body will change. It's supposed to change. That is basically what Peter is saying. It's like, you know, it's like it went like the grass. You know, our flesh is like the grass, grass, and all of its glory like the flower of the grass. It withers, it fails, but it's the word that remains forever. You know, so I believe, like I hear chains falling. Like people are being sisters. My sisters, royal daughters, you are being set free by the word of God, by truth. This is the truth. It's not what the diet industry is going to tell you because it's not sexy. Like if someone came to sell you a plan and say, hey, you can lose 10 pounds in a week. Would you sign up for that? Or would you sign up for the plan that says, hey, it's going to go slow. You know, your body's going to change. You may gain 10 pounds. Nobody's going to sign up for that, right? But it's the truth. This is truth that your body will change. And I think, you know, 
that's part of our problem. You know, we expect that this fleshly body is going to remain the same. We think we're going to be the same weight for the rest of our lives. We think we can, we can get back to that weight we were before we got married or that weight we were in high school. And for some of us, you know, that may be true. But for the vast majority of us, that will not be the case. Um, so last week I asked the question, I was like, do you want to be free? You know, so do you still want to be free if that means that your body will change? If that freedom means that you may gain weight, if that freedom means you may never lose the 20 pounds that you want to lose or the 30 pounds that you want to lose, would you still want to be free? Would you want to be free so you're not trapped, where you're not um, in bondage, you know, to your mind and your thoughts and to this regimen or to this plan. And, you know, the good news is, as that scripture goes on to say, and it, it says, but the word of the Lord remains forever. It's God's word that remains forever. And this is the good news. If you think that that's bad news, that, hey, my body's going to change. Well, listen, we have some good news <laughs> that the word of the Lord remains the same. And here it is. The good news is that Jesus died for you, that Jesus came to set you free, that he came to deliver you from whatever tries to hold you down, from whatever bondage that tries to take a hold of you and keep you captive. He came to set you free. He wants you to discover your original design, who he created you to be. Because to be honest, if we're out here chasing these other gods, these little G gods, which are idols, we never come into the fullness the fullness of who God created us to be. Don't you want to know that woman? Don't you want to know the woman God created you to be before the world told you who you should be? Before the world told you what you should look like? Don't you want to? Nobody knows the creation better than the creator who created it. It's like if I am the designer of this and I tell you that, hey, this isn't a water bottle. This is a baseball bat. You know, like, no, this is a baseball bat. But you say, no, but it's a water bottle. And I say, no, I created this. You can't tell me what I created. You know, and the same is true for um, God. It's like, nobody can tell you who you are except for God. Like, he created you. So it's time that we get back to our original designs. So the secret is, there is no secret. And the word tells us that our bodies will change, but there is good news that even in those changing bodies, even in all of that, Jesus loves you. Jesus loves you. The father loves you. And he wants us to come into a fullness, the fullness of who he created us to be and to have a full and a fresh revelation of that love. You know, he's not holding us. He will not hold out on us. He will not. And we can hang on to that truth. So if you want to be that woman, if, if you're up for the challenge of finding that woman, the woman that God created you to be, stick around. Stick around. There's more freedom in store for you. And I, I hope this resonated with you. As always, leave a comment below. Um, respond back to the email and please I, I enjoy hearing from you i want to hear your heart what you're struggling with ways that i could be praying for you and i will see you right back here tomorrow for day three